So as we all know by now, Kyle Dubas, Brendan Shanahan, and the Toronto Maple Leafs had a massive public fallout last week. Shanahan aired out uh, the negotiation dirty laundry publicly in a press conference. Kyle Dubas sent out a passive-aggressive response where he said, oh yeah, I want to keep all these details private. Shanahan said, yeah, we want a more experienced general manager this time. And Dubas definitely has to go back on a statement where he said, it's either GM in Toronto or nowhere. Because clearly... It's it's going to be somewhere. And even on the 32 Thoughts podcast on Monday, Elliot Friedman got word from people around everything happening in Toronto, this big soap opera, that it's like Game of Thrones in there, apparently. So, a it's messy, the breakup between Dubas and the Leafs. And everybody seems to be linking Kyle Dubas to the Pittsburgh Penguins, which makes sense because they're open for a GM, and it's even reported that Kyle Dubas met with Sidney Crosby at the Penguins practice facility. So he's in and around it, and it's very possible that he becomes the next GM of the Pittsburgh Penguins, especially after the debacle they just had with Ron Hextall. Going with a younger, more progressive mind might be exactly what the doctor ordered for them. But Frank Saravalli came out and mentioned that, yeah, that is a point of interest, Dubas and the Penguins, but also a team to watch here is the Ottawa Senators. And if you're like me, you fell back in your chair for two reasons. Number one, Dubas was a Leaf fan, no? I mean, look at all the passion and, and everything he gave his whole being into the Toronto Maple Leafs, and he grew up in Ontario. He must have grown up a Leaf fan like 90% of Ontario did, right? Well, here's the thing about that. Apparently, he grew up in Sault Ste. Marie and was a Senators fan growing up. <laughs> and there's even been a few times on his page where he's uh, liked some stuff regarding Alfredson and the Hall of Fame and, and the Sens around the time where he would have grown up. So maybe, secretly, he still cheers for the Ottawa Senators a little bit. Next up, there's obviously a huge elephant in the room here. Pierre Dorian must be looking at this saying, Huh? What? I'm still the GM of the Ottawa Senators. What do you mean? Frank Saravalli. And that's the one that really took it aback for me. Where I was like, yeah, what? I mean, Pierre Dorian is still there. Um, apparently, they might be on thinner ice than I thought. And I mean, I guess it makes sense. Uh, Pierre Dorian's come out a few times, said the rebuild is over, and this is a playoff team, and they haven't made the playoffs. So maybe he is on thinner ice than uh, some of us suspected. But think of the absolute troll job this would be from Kyle Dubas. The absolute just... Oh, screw you to the Toronto Maple Leafs if he just decides, hey, yeah, I'm going to go GM for probably your second biggest rival behind the Montreal Canadiens, the Battle of Ontario. I'm going to the other side now, and I'm taking all of my GM knowledge there in the division. Like, can you think of another situation where a really talented young GM had a really public fallout with an extremely popular team and then bounced over to a division rival? I can't think of one. And if you would ask me two weeks ago if I thought this would happen, I would have said, no way. Look at the loyalty that Kyle Dubas has to the Maple Leafs. He clearly loves that franchise, is grateful and appreciative for everything they've done for him. And that may still be the case. But after this fallout and this whole thing with Shanahan, hey, anything's on the table here now. I mean, he might do it out of spite going to the Ottawa Senators. Obviously, not only for that, but... I mean, I think it's definitely a possibility now. That being said, I still do think it's going to be the Pittsburgh Penguins for Kyle Dubas. I think that that's just a really good natural fit. But when Frank Saravalli said this, my eyebrow got raised because this could be a massive troll against the Toronto Maple Leafs. I mean, it would be, I don't want to say heartbreaking, but it'd be like, wow, really, Kyle? You're going to go there, huh? So yeah, I just wanted to talk about that. Leaf fans and NHL fans in general, let me know what you would think about Kyle Dubas becoming GM of the Ottawa Senators. I want to know. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.